Girl, if you're not doing your own hair by now in 2022, what are you doing? I made a movie like Steph Row. And since I came in the game, they careers on death row. all experience wanting to get our hair done but we just couldn't do it for whatever reason being because you know these days the hairstylists be charging 500 for small media y'all all know how the hairstylists be acting these days and i'll insert the tiktok here because y'all know exactly what i'm talking about a gram a point five a point three oh. As someone who's been doing their hair for 11 years now, I wanted to just show you guys how easy it is to achieve some of these hairstyles on your own. So today I'll be doing these butterfly locks for you guys. They're 30 inches and I'm feeling it because it came out so good. This is my second time doing locks and they came out way better than the first time and it was super, super easy. You know, I want to show you guys how to do this at home because these days the beauty supply store makes the pre-made locks. You don't have to extend it. They have locks that are 30 inches, 36 inches, 40 inches. They got every color so i want to show you guys how i achieved this look today using stuff from my local beauty supply store and how i was able to do it by myself and you know it didn't even take that much for me to learn i learned how to do this from other youtube videos too so i know you can too the hair that i'll be using today is the expression bonita butterfly locks in the length 30 inches and i use six packs um, I also used one pack of this other hair that I'm about to show you. I don't remember the name, but it was like a water wave texture so that when I wrapped it, it didn't look like frizzy and stuff and it was still a little curly because that's just the look that I was going for. But this is the Model Model Water Wave. Um, it's just like loose hair that you can use for a crochet too, but I made sure I got water wave and I'm using it in 18 inches. So I was going to come on camera and show you guys how I did my parting, but it just didn't end up working out because I had to use my mirror and I had to go back and forth to my bathroom and it just would have been an inconvenience for me. Prior to this, I just spent some time sectioning and parting out my hair in my desired shape and size of how big I want my locks to be just because I knew that it would take me the most time. It took me about seven hours to part this myself just because I'm a perfectionist and I want it to be perfect. And as you can see, these parts are crisp as hell. So yeah, I think that was the longest part of this process was the parting and the braiding. Besides that, everything was really easy. So all you have to do for this is really have a crochet needle. What you do is you push the needle, right? You section out your braid, you push the crochet needle through the braid, you hook it on, flip the hook, and then you open the hole, and then you like push the lock through the hole, and then that secures your braid. It's really simple. I feel like everyone should save their money and do their own locks themselves because this is a style you can't really do wrong just because it's intended to look messy you know bohemian or whatever they like to call it and yeah um i also crocheted the hair that i'm wrapping around i the first time i've done this style i didn't and i learned from my mistakes so i crochet the piece of hair too and then i just take it and i wrap it around the lock to cover my hair and I go all the way down to my hair stops and then I just keep going and you don't want to do it too tight because then your locks will be stiff and it won't lay flat but I had to learn from my mistakes so yeah it takes a while but you just got to keep wrapping keep wrapping and after you do it tight at the root you want to start doing the loose just so it doesn't look like you know, if you do it tight, it won't be a butterfly lock. It'll just be a regular lock. So keep that in mind. Um, originally, I was just like um, wrapping it until the hair ran out. But I felt like that wasn't securing the hair enough for me. So halfway through, I started using nail glue. Yeah, I use nail glue. I use eyelash glue. Like I use every glue I had in my house just to secure these ends. I'm just repeating the same process right here. Crocheting it through. And then putting all three pieces together and taking one piece and wrapping it around the lock 
so I could secure it and make it really tight at the root but not too tight you guys and also another tip when you're braiding don't braid your hair too tight because you have to crochet a lot of pieces of hair through the braid and that will cause extreme breakage because as you can see I did my braids loose but when you wrap the hair around to create a lock it like tightens up really really tight so yeah I feel like you know once you do the first row the second row you get the hang of it and that was me like I didn't even have to see to do this you just put all three pieces together and wrap the one piece of hair or strand of hair or whatever and just wrap around and you get the perfect lock and it's seamless and all your hair is protected and it's great you guys like I'll never go to the salon again if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while now you know that I do everything myself I do my own hair my nails my lashes my feet my wax like everything and I love that for me because I'm saving the coins baby Okay, I just want to come back and explain this process once again because this is a tutorial so I'm going to slow it down for you guys. So what you do is you push the needle through the braid and hook the loop that is attached to the lock and then you close the little loop in the crochet needle, pull it through, it won't hurt, nothing will happen to your hair. After you pull it through, you want to keep the loop from the lock open and push the lock through that same loop and pull it all the way till it knots and it's secured to your hair now for the part that you have to wrap around to lock your hair to the crochet lock you want to follow the same steps but this time we're just going to crochet the strand of hair right and then you take the crochet lock the strand of hair and your braid and you take one of the other strands of hair and wrap it around all three you want to start tight just so you know it's really secure to your head and then as you get a like an inch or inch and a half down you want to start loosening it up a little bit so it has that butterfly effect and then you just keep wrapping until your hair ends and then boom use some nail glue to seal the part that you're wrapping around so it doesn't unravel and you got it girl you just did your own faux locks at home for sixty dollars so yeah period I know y'all see me struggling right here the only problem I ran into with these locks is um, some are like the holes at the top of the locks for me to crochet through they were so tiny that when I tried to pull the lock through it just wouldn't go through being that you know it's a butterfly lock so it was like thicker than the hole so it was just not trying to fit and I had to like yank it and pull it and then some of it was like so small that it didn't even stay like I could pull it and it would just pull out my hair so be mindful of that like you might have to like stretch the hole out a little bit a a a let's keep it pg or whatever i didn't even mean it like that oh you guys should also know it comes with 10 locks in a pack and i used about five and a half packs so just fyi you know This is the update on my hair. I ran out of hair. I got 12 more braids to do. Yes, I'm just about to get two more packs. It's coming out cute so far. It's kind of thick, but um, you know, what do you expect from the box? What to do right now is finish wrapping because like I just crocheted some of the hair. I didn't wrap it or nothing, so I'm about to do that. Like I just mentioned, this is how far along I got with my hair. As you guys can see, it's a whole new day. It's like, yeah, I started doing my hair at 7 p.m. And I didn't finish until like 7 p.m. The day that I had to go buy new packs of hair. So originally I had bought four packs of hair because in all the tutorials that I watched, the girls told me that they only used four packs and it took them three hours. 
um let me just say that is cap okay i needed six packs and this took me like two days so yeah i don't know why it took me that long i don't think it would necessarily take you that long i just was really extra on the parting and i really sat there for a bunch of hours trying to get it straight but you know everyone's different i don't think that this hairstyle should take two days i would say it would take like 10 hours max that's really all it should give because it's pretty easy being that you know the crochet is already crocheted not the crochet the lock is already locked and all you have to do is crochet it so you don't have to do much at all which is why i'm totally here for this From here on, it gets really repetitive just because I already crocheted all the hair I had left. So all I had to do was wrap. So I really wanted to leave this in because I feel like that's the most difficult part is to really wrap it and get it secure. Guys, use nail glue. Like nail glue dries so fast and it will not unravel. And I didn't start using nail glue until halfway through my head. So left for my mistakes because that's the whole point of this tutorial. So as y'all see, I'm still crocheting it through, but now I started using both pieces to wrap around just to cover my braid a little more because when I was doing one strand before, you could still see my braid. So yeah, I started using two. Your body got me crazy. Your body need a license fit. Your body are too tight and neat. Anybody who got eyes can see She just wanna dance and tease She just wanna dance and tease me 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 Listen, you've been missing since 2016 Squid tell me one fix You know that's my decision when she speak, I listen She swears you're my missing I say we think different I, 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 I see By your heart, I see Come, baby, come, come, try me Who you gonna love if you run by me, love? Ready? Too many twists and turns, twists and turns, girl Lot of ways, twists and turns, twists and turns, girl Baby, call me, I too fly, I get burned the way twist and turn, twist and turn, yeah. Your body driving crazy. Your body need a license fee. Got your body at the tight and tease. Anybody who got eyes can see. She just wanna dance and tease. She just wanna dance and tease me. Yeah, I bought that lot. She just wanna dance and tease me. She just wanna dance and tease me. She just wanna dance and tease me. Yeah. Dance and tease, you go like the Highland breeze. You know what you want and need, but no one up and squeeze. They used to say you didn't know love. I used to say you need to grow up. I know you know, say you want to get up though. And I know you know, you want white bars, then you want some. Remember the first night when you get freaky, when you get down. We are chill with no well and party, a jar and party. Yeah, your body was so clean. Yeah, the 
see that we're very sorry. Back it up, I look right. They body die me. Oh, they might have driven crazy. They might have need a license fee. Yeah, your body at the tight that you need. Anybody who got eyes can't see. She just wanna dance and tease. She just wanna dance and tease. Excuse how it looks. I just had to wrap it up so I could lay my edges real quick. This is how my hair came out. It's really cute, you know, 30 inches, period. This is how long it is. Yeah, it goes all the way to right about underneath my butt. It's 30 inches and it came pre, pre, like I didn't have to extend it. It was just 30 inches off rip and Y'all already know I'm a tall girl, so if for it to be below my butt is like exactly what I was going for. But what I just wanted to do real quick was like show y'all the easier way to get the butterfly effect. What I do is I go in, I hook on a decent amount, and I just pull it real hard. And then it comes out like a butterfly. Well, I don't even know. It comes out like whatever the fuck they call this shit. But yeah. You may have to pull it a little hard because I wrap tight. Don't be like me, y'all. Don't wrap tight because that shit hurts. Like, this shit hurts. Let me see where else I could do this to really show y'all because it's not working right there. And I kind of did some already, so. So you just pull it. Get a little lock. In total, y'all, I started doing my hair like seven o'clock yesterday. And I think the parting and the braiding took me the longest. Oh no, I only have four minutes of memory left and I'm about to vlog. But whatever. The braiding took me the longest. I think that took me like seven hours. And then I started installing the locks at about 12 1 and then i did half my head up until 6 a.m and then today i started doing my hair again at like 5 6 and i finished at like 7 38 so those were a lot of hours in every tutorial i watch y'all like oh it takes three hours oh it takes three hours oh it takes four packs oh it takes four packs it did not take three hours it did not take four packs for me it took six packs and about like feels like 24 hours <laughs> but i'm super happy with the outcome so i'm not complaining and i know this is gonna last me a while so yeah like it was almost a wrap y'all because i bought all the hair from the store so they didn't have no more packs so i was panicking like what if i needed four more packs they didn't have four more packs they had one 
one. But I vlogged all of that, so if y'all want to see the behind the scenes of this, of this hairstyle, go tune into my weekly vlog. But I'm pretty sure that'll be up after this video. So yeah, if you want to see behind the scenes, check it out. Yeah, I'm just like loosening it up a little, but not too much because I know over time it's going to loosen up even more. I would leave it like this, but this shit is so big. Like, I don't know what style. It's so big and long. I'm a flip over kind of girl, so I'm just, I'm wear it like this most of the time. Oh, this is cute as shit. Oh, that's cute as shit. I need a tan, y'all. Y'all see that mark from my wig? It's not going nowhere. No matter how many times I tan, but tomorrow I'm going to get a tan. This is really cute. Yes, I love it. So, this is how my hair came out. I'm going to do my makeup and everything probably tomorrow or Friday and come back and show y'all and talk more about it so I could film the intro and outro. But yeah, thanks for sticking with me. I know to y'all it was probably 30 minutes, but to me, it was like 17 hours. So, please like and comment and subscribe your girl is on the road to 5k right now i'm at i have 1222 subscribers and i really want to hit 5k before the end of the year y'all so i know it'll happen because you know i'm a manifest